What's going on guys, Prodigy here, and this is the time of year when your wallet becomes empty. This is the time of year when you can't pay any of your bills and you can't pay your mortgage on your house because you ended up spending all of your money on video games. Those of you that don't know about this uh, yearly phenomenon, you may consider it a blessing. Those of you that do know about it, you also may consider it a blessing by the Lord Gaben himself. Now, for those of you that don't know, the Steam Summer Sale is a yearly event that happens where everybody tries to go and put all their money into their Steam account so that they can go and get games for half off. Now, I didn't know about this last year, I just thought that games went on sale, I didn't really know about the Steam Summer Sale, but this year, I came prepared. And, well, I, I mean, I wasn't really prepared, it, um, it kind of struck me by surprise, Rip, rest in peace my... $70 that I, I've, I've spent on the Steam Summer Sale, but what happens during this time is everybody goes and tries to sell their Counter-Strike skins or ends up trying to go and put a, just a ton of money into Steam because these games are now cheap. So let's go on the market. We're going to go and look in the market here. Uh, I'm not going to really... I'm just going to go and show screenshots here of different games during the Steam Summer Sale. Games such as the Saints Row franchise are 75% off. Gary's Mod is only $2.50. There are games uh, like Doom, which is only like $30 instead of being $60. GTA 5 is only like $30 instead of being like $50. And just everything in general has been decreased. Like, I, I see a game called Prison Architect, which is originally $30. It is now $7.49. Literally every game is part of every franchise. They every pretty much every game lowers in price by a shit ton, at least 25, maybe like most of the time it's even 50 to 75 percent off. So this is a time when you're if you're gonna go and buy games on PC, this is obviously the going time to do it. Now if you're willing to go and sell skins, this is not the time to go and do that because every all of your skins are gonna go down in value. I looked in the market and I had a 15 dollar skin which. It ended up dropping down to around $10, and um, it stayed at that for quite a bit. And now the Steam Summer Sale just came out, and I checked the price again. And now my uh, M4A1S Hyper Beast um, field tested, I think it's field tested, maybe it's well worn, is now only $7.49. I don't even, let me go and check the price again, maybe it updated. Um, I remember that I checked yesterday, and it was only $7 for M4A1S Hyper Beast. Like, shit, dude, that is like. It's a red, and it's actually a really good red. It's only set. It's seven dollars and sixty-three cents for a M for a when it's hyper beast. Like this skin, when I first bought it, like a few months ago, it was around fifteen dollars, and then recently it dropped to around ten, and now it's only seven dollars. And every skin, pretty much every skin, has dropped in price. Now, if you have like say a um a, a dragon lore, maybe that might not drop in price, or a lot of rare skins like that. But I, I, a lot of skins that are like snipers, like. The Sun and the Leo was like around three dollars. Now it's like two seventy six. Um, the K Man was around three dollars. Now it's two seventy two. Uh, pretty much just a lot of skins in general just ended up uh, going down in price. I had a, a Falchion knife which I paid like around fifty dollars for it, and then I sold it the other day ago, and um, it was around like forty five, and then it dropped to like forty. I don't even know the price anymore, but I ended up selling my knife because like. What would I rather have, a few pixels, or would I rather have a game? Now, if I sold my knife beforehand, I probably could have got a few extra dollars out of it, but I, I just kind of wanted to go and get my money. Now, it was a bad mistake to go and sell it during the Steam sale. I mean, I did lose a few dollars, but it doesn't really matter. I was able to go and make up those few dollars from the game, so it just depends on how much you're willing to go and risk and lose. Now, now if you're going to go and sell your skins, I don't recommend it, unless there's actually a game that you're aiming for that you really want to get and you don't think you'll have any other way to obtain the money. Now, there are different methods that you can go to get Steam money, like, um, I just did a, I downloaded a ton of apps using Bounty Bucks and I got $5 and I pretty much got it in one day. Now, that's if you really try to go and download a shit ton of apps, then you should be good with that, but that's probably the only way to get free Steam money. But, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna go and give my opinions about this, um, Steam Summer Sale, like I'm kind of doing right now, but... Basically, the market drops in price, games drop in price, and everything just goes down. And Steam, Gabe, and, you know, they make a shit ton of money from all of this, because... I, I ended up spending $70 without even knowing it. <laughs> like, I, I... 
after I bought all my games, I had like five dollars left, and then I saw a game that I really wanted to get as well, and then I'm like, okay, shit, I'm out of money. I sh just another five dollars. It's kind of like addicting in a way because you see all these games for like really cheap, and you try to go and get the best price. Now. In the long run, this is actually the best idea to do because if you want to go and play these games, it's best to buy them when they're $5 instead of buying them when they're 20 But even still, it kind of hurts your your wallet a little bit. So, I, I mean, like normally you wouldn't really spend this amount of money um, on games. I mean, I spent like 70 so it's like it's like a game and then like, a, you know, a $10 game or whatever. But I ended up getting like, I don't know, like, here, let me go and name all the games that I ended up getting. I ended up getting Seven Days to Die. I ended up getting Dark Souls 2, uh, Battle Block Theater, um, Dishonored, uh, Metro 23, 2033 Redux. Um, I got uh, Warhammer, End of Times, Vermintide, Wolfenstein. I got Dragon's Dogma, um, The Dark Arisen. Then I got Verdun. I got yet another do zombie defense. Then I got um, Wolfenstein, A New Order. And I got Worms, Armageddon. And uh, pretty much all of those added up to around seventy dollars. And the main things that kind of like that like took a lot of money from it was probably Vermintide, Vermintide, and Dragon's Dogma ended up um, basically killing a lot of my money on there. It, it, like both of them combined were probably around um, like forty bucks. So the rest is like the rest of the money that I spent it on. And I even still right now I kind of want to go and buy more shit, but I'm I'm completely tapped out of money. I have no money whatsoever. My PayPal or anywhere even in real life, I'm I'm completely broke. I spend like all of my money that I had, and I mean I just recently got a laptop too. So like buying like I I wasn't exactly prepared to go and spend all of this, but when I see all these deals, it's kind of like you can't really pass it up. Now my verdict and on the Steam Summer Sale is it's good for people that are trying to go and save money but it's also bad for people that are trying to save money because if you're trying to save money then you don't want to spend money but you know i mean it's good if you want to go and play games for cheap prices but recommending i don't recommend going to sell anything on the market because the prices drastically go down because people are not going to go and buy skins during this time they're going to go and buy games because what would you rather have skins or games like games are half off whereas skins you know skins are half off too so people might actually end up buying skins too but this is kind of a, a chance to go and uh, take as well so if you guys want any cheap counter-strike skins now is the time to go and buy it it is currently uh 625 2016 so if you guys want to go and buy um skins i recommend buying them right now before the summer sale and but then the only thing about buying skins is instead of like buying a game then you know you would buy a skin so it just comes down to whether you want to play games or get skins for cheap now if you want to go and make money on steam i recommend um you know buying skins right now because you can sell them later in the future and they're probably going to go up in price like my um the m 4 a s hyper beast isn't probably going to go and stay seven dollars it's going to probably go back up to at least maybe 10 to back where it was before, maybe 9. So if you want to go and make a few dollars, I, I recommend buying the Hyper Beast. I already have one, so it's just kind of like, I, I don't know. I, I paid 15 for it, so either way, I've lost money. So I'm just going to go and end up keeping it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on the Summer Sale. I, I believe that it's good because, you know, you can buy a lot of games for cheap. And it's definitely better than Microsoft trying to go and rip you off. But... If you don't have money, then don't push it. If you can't afford it, like if you have bills to pay, then don't push it. But anyways, guys, I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video and you see my points of view on the Steam Summer Sale. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. And Prodigy X117 is out. Peace, peace. I feel my heart beat like